Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the Seabreeze V-neck tank top. Today I'll be making this pattern in size small, but the full written pattern from sizes extra small to 3 extra large is available for free on my blog. The link is in the description bar. You will need DK or 8 ply cotton yarn, a 4.5mm crochet hook, some scissors and a darning needle. I'm using Debbie Bliss Cotton Denim in the colour Pale Blue. We're going to start this pattern by creating the left side of the top, and to begin, create a slip knot. Insert your hook into the loop. Chain 7. Double crochet into the third chain from the hook. To double crochet, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Double crochet in each chain until the end of the row. At the end of row one, you should have five stitches. To start row 2, chain 2 and turn. Throughout this pattern, chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. For rows 3 to 6, you're going to repeat row 2. So you're going to chain 2, turn, and then double crochet into the next 5 stitches. To start row 7, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. You should have 6 stitches in total. To start row 8, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet into the next 5 stitches. Place 2 double crochet into the last stitch. To begin row 9, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet into the next 5 stitches and then place 2 double crochet into the last stitch. To begin row 10, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochet into the last stitch. To start row 11, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. 
To start row 12, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochet into the last stitch. To begin row 13, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. And then place 2 double crochets into the next stitch. Place 1 double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. To start row 14, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until there are 2 stitches left. Place 2 double crochet in the last 2 remaining stitches. To begin row 15, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the last stitch. To start row 16, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the last stitch. To begin row 17, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the last stitch. To begin row 18, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochet into the last stitch. Fast enough. We're now going to create the right side of the top. To start the right triangle, create a slip knot and you can do this any way you like. Insert your hook into the loop. Chain 7. Double crochet into the third chain from the hook. Double crochet in each chain until the end of the row. At the end of row 1 you should have 5 stitches. To start row 2, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row.
For rows 3 to 6, you're going to repeat row 2. To begin row 7, you're going to chain 2 and turn. Double crochet into the next 4 stitches. Place 2 double crochet into the last stitch. To begin row 8, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. To begin row 9, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet into the next 5 stitches. And then place 2 double crochet into the last stitch. To begin row 10, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. To start row 11, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochet into the last stitch. To begin row 12, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. To begin row 13, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet in each stitch until the last 2 stitches. Place 2 double crochets into the last 2 stitches. To begin row 14, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the last stitch. To begin row 15, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the last stitch. To begin row 16, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the last stitch. To begin row 17, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last 2 stitches. Place 2 double crochets in the last 2 stitches.
To begin row 18, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the last stitch. Now we're going to join the two triangles together. To begin the joining row, chain 2 and turn. Place 2 double crochets into the first stitch. Place 2 double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last stitch of the right triangle. Place 2 double crochets into the last stitch. With the straps facing towards you, place the left triangle to the left of the right triangle. To double check that the right side is facing towards you, both tails of yarn should be coming out of the left hand corner of the strap. So you've just placed two double crochets into the last stitch of the right hand triangle. Place two double crochets into the first stitch of the left hand triangle. Now you've joined the two triangles together. Double crochet in each stitch until the last two stitches. Place two double crochets in each of the last two stitches. To begin body row one, chain two and turn. Place two double crochets into the first stitch. Place two double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the last two stitches. Place two double crochets in each of the last two stitches. To begin body row 2, chain 2 and turn. Place 1 double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. Repeat body row 2 until body row 13. To begin the ribbing, we're going to chain 1 and turn. Chain 1 does not count as a stitch. We're going to single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. We've finished our row of single crochets. And to start the next row, we're going to chain 2 and turn. We're now going to front post double crochet onto the next 2 stitches, and then back post double crochet onto the next 2 stitches. Here you can see that the hook wraps around the post instead of going into the stitch. And then for a back post double crochet, your hook wraps around the back of the post. You're going to repeat the pattern of front post double crochet in the next two stitches and then back post double crochet in the next two stitches until you have one stitch left.
Place a double crochet in the last stitch of the row. To begin the last row, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet into the first stitch. Back post double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat the pattern of front post double crochet into the next 2 stitches and back post double crochet into the next 2 stitches until the end of the row. At the end of the row, we're going to double crochet into the second chain that was at the beginning of row 2. This extra stitch helps the edge of the top stay nice and straight. Fasten off. Repeat these steps to create the back panel of the top. Once you've finished your second side of the top, lay both pieces directly on top of each other. Now we're going to sew the edges of the top together and the straps. Repeat these steps for the other side. Once you've finished sewing the top together, insert your hook along the edge of an armhole, secure your yarn and pull through a loop. Chain 1 and we're going to single crochet all along the border of the armhole. So try to keep your single crochets nice and loose and spread them out evenly along the edge. Once you're back at the beginning of the border, slip stitch into the first stitch and then fasten off. Repeat these steps for the other armhole. And then we're going to do the exact same thing along the V neckline. Secure your yarn, pull through a loop, chain one, single crochet all along the edge of the V neck. Once you're back at the beginning, slip stitch into the first stitch and then fasten off. Weave in all of your ends. 